All right. Nobody knows that you're here. Nobody will know that you've been here. Okay. If anybody finds out that you're here, it's because something went very wrong. But guess I'll try to clean up your mess, you know? Some of us get chances again. Some of us don't. Maybe you're one of the lucky ones. We'll see. I am. Um, well, I'm here because you have to disappear figuratively. We won't be doing that just yet. Who knows? Unless the other people get to you first, you know, we'll be documenting, documenting, and more documenting, documenting, documenting. Yeah. Hmm. So I guess what we're going to do is scan the retinas. We've had your retina scans for a long time, and as you know, we got to make sure that you are you. I used to be able to do this, but yeah, that you're you. Okay. All right. Keep them. Plus the street racer gang. They've been really screwing up whenever I wanted to make ASMR. It's been really irritating. Like, what the heck are y'all freaking doing? Yeah. No. Great, great. try to, uh, you know, be a mole, take over people's bodies, you know, body snatchers, just not for the already departed, so to speak. You could be body snatched right now. Your spirit just left your body. Something else, something not from here else inside. You know. Hmm. Did not know you weren't declassified on that. Well, be careful. Okay. So just, you know, kind of like if we're doing a passport, no smiling, no smiling. I can smile, you can't smile. This is not funny. It's not funny. You're in trouble. Are you laughing at your troubles? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll laugh at you, but not with you, because I would not want to be you. Okay. Open. Look. Yeah. 
a couple of silly ones if you want, just for me. Yeah. You can do just a couple of silly ones for me. that I needed from you at least, so, um, yeah. Okay. Well, you're obviously gonna need a new signature look, so I, um, took the liberty of, um, going down to the, uh, dump. Yeah, put in a job application for you. Yeah, um... So, that bio you got on your new life, your new identity, who you are. Yeah, scrap that. Okay, not happening. Yeah, there have been some changes. There have been some changes. Um, so, big one. You're gonna be a garbage collector. But... The good sign is, is because the people who are most concerned about their M.O. is leaving those who have crossed them at the city dump. So, I mean, if anything happens to you, you know, heaven forbid, um, yeah, we'll be able to find you quick. Because, uh, you know, they'll know who you are there, and once the cops know, and then they tell their, their little network of people we're gonna say, hey, that's that's our person. That's our that's our that's our little spy. That's our little little safe safe babes. Yeah. You know? I mean that could be them looking for you right now. Who knows? I mean, you know. Are you questioning these changes that I had to approve? I'll have you know, I could have had you working on the same street as them, but me being somebody who does about 15% of the research I should be doing, you're lucky I did that 15%, because without that 15%, you could be laying with the silver fishes. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. with the silver fishes like this. You. If they found you. If I didn't do that 15% of the work that I needed to be doing and leaving the other 85% up to chance, this could have been you. But it's not. So we're gonna find you a signature makeup look now, okay? Okay, be grateful. Be grateful for garbage. So, uh, you know, I figured we could go a little bit, uh, a little bit poetic, yeah. A little poetic, little poetic, little poetic. Since, uh, you, uh, burned somewhere down for the insurance money and used your, uh, not cover name, we're gonna give you smoky eye look. Because I have a sense of humor. Okay. So, we're gonna get ready for it, okay? You need some primer. I'm gonna need to get you some primer. 
Um, I don't know how much garbage people or garbage collectors get paid, but hope it's decent enough to be a long-lasting all-day wear, resistant against sweat, water, rain, because uh, you're going to be sweating. Not because it's hot, but because, you know, worried about the fate of your existence and all that. <laughs> Iconic, smoldering, just like the wreckage of that building. Okay, okay. Matt. Rockstar. What you will not be if you end up getting convicted and go to prison. Might be what happened if uh, this cover doesn't go well, and yeah, I think it'll be okay though. And um, as a backup, as a backup, I uh, to feel liberty making a backup plan. This is a um. This is a um, situation where you're pulled immediately. You have no time to go back to where you're staying. You won't even have time to say goodbye or give an explanation to those that you've befriended along the way. Okay. 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 Just want that to be crystal, crystal clear for you. plan. This plan, you could say it's, um, it's a bit different. A bit much, maybe. But I think it's necessary, okay? I know that, um, things can get a little bit scary out there and I'm gonna make sure that things don't get too scary but I'll be honest with you they probably will be scary bring extra pairs of pants wherever you go at least underwears maybe some baby wipes a little um, bidet to go a little squirt bottle I don't know Whatever you use to clean your room, okay? Because, um, it's getting a little bit, uh, dicey out there. I would say I worry about you, but I don't. It's part of the job, so. Heck, I really don't even remember your name. Yeah, oops, I'm sorry. Alright, well. I have this for you. Just in case, what we're gonna do is spin it. I'm just gonna spin it, okay? I'm gonna spin this now. I'm gonna try and find you somewhere else to live. Just in case. Because, like, you know, I don't know. So. Do you want to have it just be one and done? Or do you want to have like a best two out of three? Um, or I guess not two out of three. I guess it'd be all options. What do you think? You could do that. So, what I did is I'll hold this.
Um, the glow we can do the, for the northern hemisphere. Eight three nine for the southern hemisphere. Yeah, the sun's up. Okay, good. Okay. All right, so just. Okay, so this is it. Wyoming. Hmm. Wyoming. Wyoming. Um, I think that there's an alien that might live there. Um, their name is uh, Jeffree Star. Yeah, they're one of our uh, psyops right now. Uh, it is a, uh, we're doing an experimentation on to see how, um, a conservative extraterrestrial would be accepted by the American public. Just how willing they would be for to go to accept somebody who is essentially what they are all against, but will they accept them as one of their own, but following their ideology? Interesting. Brainchild the MK Ultra, of course. Well, not surprising there. Yeah. Okay, so we got one of those. Uh, China. What about China? Well, you know, uh, USSR doesn't exist anymore, but um, let's just say you really wouldn't want to be going there these days, probably either. Um, you will probably immediately have problems. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. If you're not there right now, you, um, yeah. Problems. Problems. Okay. Yeah. Um, problems. As you can see, we've been not having to use this because not everybody does problems like this. Okay. And, um, right in between. Afghanistan and Iran. Yeah, I don't know about that either. I think that your safest place is going to be in Wyoming with Jeffree Star. Fingers crossed, pal, for better southern hemisphere choices, yeah? You know, I'm sure that China, Iran, and Afghanistan are all gorgeous places, but they're not going to be very welcoming to you right now. I mean, you've pretty much caused an international outcry. I mean, you know, you're not on the news. I mean, CNN's not going to report on this. But, um, yeah. If they were allies, we would be saying, hey, watch out for our pal. But, um, whoops. We all kind of screwed the pooch on that one, eh? Well, not us individually, you know. <laughs> the the people that we are, um, just little cogs for. Little minions. Little lemmings. Anyways, on to the southern hemisphere, okay? <laughs> Polynesia. Okay. French Polynesia. I think that could be very good. Je sais pas si les gens qui savent au polonais français parlent français, mais je peux t'aider quand même. Okay. À la prochaine. Er, la prochaine. On doit. Ok. Ok. Very close. Fiji. Fiji's lovely. Yeah. Um, being a garbage collector in these two places would be, um, okay, for the next one.
French Polynesia again. We can't do that. Let's see. In the middle of the Indian Ocean. Not gonna work. Oh, okay. In Brazil, near Sao Paulo. So, Sao Paulo could be a good place. There's probably plenty to do down there. Um, yeah, still, you would need to keep a low profile. That means definitely blending in. You'll need to learn Portuguese. I mean, you know, we could do that thing where we just put you under and then have somebody, you know, work on your brain a little bit if you'd rather do that. I would take the six months to learn it, but that's just me. Um, let's find your third place. Australia. I think Australia would be great. I think it would be fun. What do you think? I think it could be great. Australia, Brazil, French Polynesia, Wyoming, China, Iran or Afghanistan. Hmm. What do you think? I'll give you some time to think about it because, you know, this is only just in case. Okay, just in case. Yeah, just in case. But I think it could be this. These. These are what I make. can be a little bit dangerous. I don't pray. I'm not a gambling man. But I believe in a lucky star. Look at those. These are my special ones. I keep these for the, um, the people who need them most. Now, all of the Secret Service and the FBI and Homeland Security, all those people tell me that I need proper training. Well, you know what? I don't need proper training because I have these. They protect me from everything. So yeah, I don't care. I can give you my buddy stopped a bullet with one one time. Well, he's also an MK Ultra, and he was also on a lot of shrooms. And he was also, like, tripping balls, but... Yeah. Well, I'll give you one of these. Okay? I'll give you one of these. Do you want one? Hmm? Do you want one? One of these. I think. I think that they're great. I could give you one. Maybe two. Maybe three. What do you say? Just a little. You can have that one. Cool. Wait. Two. And three. Just put. Just put all of your worry, all of your concern. Oh. 
little bit. And then eventually just disappear. I believe that it is time for you to start doing what you need to do to protect yourself. And that means um, shedding your old identity. Shedding this old undercover identity that you have. Mm -hmm. And you know where to find me. You know that I can help you if needed. Okay? But I'd really appreciate it if you didn't, because, like, what the frick am I going to do? And you know what? To be honest, I don't even know if we can, like, really... Like, your face, I don't even know if this is, like, if any smoky makeup's really gonna hide you from anything. I'm just gonna need to, like, fully remove your face and put on a new face. Have you heard of fillers before? <laughs> yeah, trust me. You're not need- you're not gonna need to go under. So if you're thinking that you're going to get out of this by not wanting surgery, 